Hello, Capricorn viewers. I'm going to see what's going on with you guys. Sorry, I've been away for so long, but I am back now. Last reading I did, which was a couple months ago, <laughs> month or a month or two ago, I got that it was going to be like love at first sight with you and someone. There's going there's telepathic communication between you two. You might not have met them yet, but I think by now a lot of you have probably met them, I would think. I don't know where you guys are at in the storyline, but let's just see what the cards want to say. And, you know, I try to remain unbiased, so the cards might talk about finances. They might talk about career. It might um, might be a love reading like it usually is. It's just whatever wants to come through. So let's see what's going on. Manipulation, deception, finances, and career. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. Choose a path. Truth and clarity. Love offer. Okay. Vulnerability, receptivity. End of a pattern or cycle. Breakthrough, freedom. Clarify the manipulation, deception, and the finances card. Nostalgia, longing, third party energy. Yeah, I feel like this is a person. I kind of see it more. I mean, it could be someone that, that screwed you over financially. It could be someone that took advantage of you financially or maybe limited you. Like maybe you weren't able to fully pursue your career because of them for some of you. But for most of you, I just see it as this person's wearing a mask. They have you blind, or they had you blindfolded, manipulated, manipulative, deceptive, and you were nostalgic for them for such a long time. It might have been a third party situation too, where they kind of had you going back and forth between, you know, thinking that they were going to leave the karmic and then they didn't leave the karmic partner. They just, you know, kept egging you on. And maybe they were actually a karmic partner for you, it turns out. I feel like you were just very vulnerable with them, like you were very um, receptive, like very open with them, like you kept, it's almost like you fought your intuition, it's like almost, it's almost, almost self-sabotage, well not self-sabotage because I mean this, this relationship was not right for you and I think that you know that, but it was, it was like self-harm even though it wasn't intentional, like it might not have been conscious, I hope that makes sense, it's almost like you, it was familiar to you, so you wanted to believe what you wanted to believe, basically. You you didn't want to let go of it. You didn't want to see the truth about it, but I feel like you do see the truth about it now, or you're starting to at least. I feel like it's just something where you had to wait for this person for a long time, where you were longing for them, you were nostalgic for them. It's like you see this this energy is he or she is reaching out to this this stone. It's like just this wall. And it's like that's kind of what you're reaching out to. Um, and I feel like this person kind of led you on, like they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. They might have been cheating on you or they might have just been with someone else and you they kind of had you on the side. I feel like there was just some kind of third party energy here where they just they put you on the side. You Your relationship did not come first. You didn't come first. But you, they always found a way. They knew how to exploit your emotions. They knew how to get you to be vulnerable and receptive to them. They knew how to weasel their way back in. They knew how to how to play on your emotions and, and get you to open your heart and say all the right things. And I feel like it caused a lot of damage because, you know, your intuition is screaming at you to let this person go, to to move on from this, to to end these patterns and these cycles. And I feel like it was just familiar to you. You had spent so much energy fighting for this. You put so much into it that you didn't want to give it up. You, you thought maybe you would love them enough, maybe they would come around finally, and they just didn't. 
And I think it was heartbreaking for you. But I think it also really damaged you because you fought yourself on this, to be honest. It feels like if this is your story, you know, only don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. You know, it either resonates or it doesn't. But if this is your story, it's almost like with the vulnerability receptivity card, it's like you like it it wasn't right it wasn't fitting with you anymore it wasn't resonating with you anymore but it was familiar you you still had love for this person it was like almost like a codependent kind of energy here and it's like your intuition screamed at you to let it go but you kept fighting it and you kept saying like oh i'm going to open my heart like i'm going to i'm going to take this risk but like you knew it's almost like self sabotage that's what i mean when i said it's when i said it's self sabotage in a sense because you knew it was harmful. Intuitively, you you deep down, you kind of knew that this wasn't right, that this person was not treating you well. And you fought your own intuition on it. You fought yourself. You ignored your intuition and you said, you know, I'm going to open my heart. I'm going to be vulnerable. And your spirit guides are saying like, no, like don't open your heart to this person. Open your heart to the right person. Open your heart to someone that's going to treasure your heart. Don't open it to just anybody. So it's almost like you... It's just this toxic pattern that you got stuck in and no one's blaming you for that. Like your spirit guides are not blaming you for that. They're just, you know, kind of pointing out that cycle that, you know, they didn't want that for you. They didn't want you to be stuck in that. But I mean, you kind of ignored your intuition. So what, what else can they do? They come to you through your intuition. That's them screaming at you. You know, that's your higher self screaming at you to get out of the situation um, I feel like if this person is not in your life currently, they might try to come back around or you might just need to clear this energy up and do a cut and clear ritual. But I feel like I feel like you have two choices here. You can end this pattern, this cycle with this person. You can have this breakthrough freedom. You can face the truth no matter how painful and how lonely it might feel in the moment. You can face the truth that it's this person isn't going to just wake up one day and realize that what they have with you, they're not going to wake up one day and leave their current partner. They're not going to wake up one day and suddenly appreciate you and suddenly treat you well. You know what I mean? Like this person has already shown you their true colors. It's like, what is that saying? Like when someone shows you their true colors, don't try to repaint them. You know, you already know what this person's about. You already know what this relationship is going to be like. You've already gotten a good taste of that. So you kind of have to choose a path here. Do you want to end this cycle? And this might just, this might not be a specific person. This could be people in general, like this pattern that you've had. But you need to choose to end this cycle if you want this, is what it feels like. And you might have to take it slower with this person, with this new person. You know, love, offer, commitment. It might not be what you're used to, but it feels a lot more positive. So I did get like a love at first sight kind of energy with that. Yeah, you're going to have to have the willpower and strength and confidence to stand up for yourself, stand up to this person, stand up to the, listen to the red flags, the hidden motives, the toxicity. You already know about this and you need to be honest with yourself. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah, and you kind of need, this person might be very charming. Like they might, they might be a great person for, for, other people but just not be your person you know what I mean like they could be an amazing person but not be good for you specifically like maybe you guys aren't good for each other even if they are a good person deep down does that make sense like maybe they just that you guys don't know don't mesh well together or you see them as this amazing creative wonderful person and they just kind of take you for granted and that's their perception you know it doesn't mean that's reality but that's their perception and that, that's probably it doesn't seem like that's going to change from what the cards are saying you know so it's kind of saying like have this new perspective in this sense, like know that your beauty and your enchantment and your good energy does not depend on them. And know that even if they can't see it, it's like, you're still, you are who you are. You know, even if they can't, even if they didn't appreciate you, that, that doesn't say anything about you. That just says something about them, you know? And also I feel like, you know, people, if this person is toxic, it's like, they might be enchanting. They might be very charming. But from this new perspective, you're going to start grounding yourself and listening and understanding and finally listening to your spirit guides and listening to your intuition about this. And that's going to open the door for this new perspective, finally listening and understanding, acknowledging the red flags, letting go of, you know, old dead situations, not watering dead plants anymore, 
this new perspective is going to allow true love and abundance to flow to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. Um, and and you, might, you might be taking it slow with this new person because it's not going to be familiar to you. It's going to be very different. But, you know, you do have this love offer, this commitment with someone else, I feel, with someone better. I think that's that person I channeled, like the love at first sight energy, the, you know, telepathically communicating with someone that you haven't met yet. Yeah, I think this hidden truth is going to come out. This could be a secret admirer, too, because I was getting that energy for this group a while back. Courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. I don't know what's going on with that person, but. Waiting, hoping, praying, confusion. Yeah, it's like the person you were waiting for, it's like, it just left you confused. And honestly, you might find out some harsh truths about this person. They might be telling you they're, they're done with the karmic when they're actually not. Um... But I think that you intuitively know this. You know that it's time to move forward. But I also see this as like your new person is also going to be moving forward towards you. And they're going to want to show you off to the world. You're going to know that energy difference. You know what I mean? Like look at this energy that just the picture like he, like they're showing each other off. Like he's proud of you or she's proud of you. Either way, male or female. It's like they're... They're not hiding you like this other person did. You know what I mean? Even if they're afraid of rejection, they're still gonna they're still gonna move in. They're still gonna take that leap of faith for you. Yeah, because they're gonna want to travel. They're gonna want to have fun. They're gonna want to live their best life with you. You know what I mean? There's gonna be that energy difference here. So don't overthink it or self sabotage it when you when it comes in just because you're used to not being treated well. Like this person is gonna see you as their happiness, their warmth, their light. They're going to see you in a different light than this other person did, and you're going to almost be insecure. Like, are you sure? Like, why me? Because this other person really didn't, did a number on you and really made you kind of almost not like yourself because you felt invisible and you felt like, why don't they see me for who I am? Why don't they appreciate me? Why don't they love me like I love them? Um, but this person is just going to see it. They're going to know right away. It's not going to be, you're not going to have to convince them to love you. You're not going to have to convince them that you're good enough. They're just going to see it right away. They're going to see your light right away and it's going to make them happy, warmth. We have this little green flow, right? Green glow right there too. Yeah. And karmic exes are done with, you know, because this is a potential life partner, this person, if they, I don't know if they've come in for you guys or not yet, but, but that's basically what I'm getting. Um, is to just keep healing, working through those insecurities. Don't go back to past patterns because, I mean, you know deep down intuitively that that person is just going to hurt you again. So you need to listen to your intuition. You need to not make excuses. Because I feel like this is like a, someone that like made excuses like like almost like a third party situation where you blame the karmic. You're like the karmic has, you know, a hold on my person. The karmic is doing this to them or that to them. But it's like, okay, they chose the karmic though, you know, like it sucks. And I know there's third party situations where like they genuinely are stuck. I get that. But this doesn't seem like that to me, to be honest. If this is your energy group, this seems more like someone who just loved the karmic. Honestly, this seems more like someone that was just wanting to have you and them. They didn't, you know what I mean? Like this is, this isn't someone who appreciated you. This isn't someone who was afraid of losing you. This is someone who took you for granted. And the sooner you can deal with that pain and rip that bandaid off and face it, um, the sooner you can can heal from this when you acknowledge the red flags and you acknowledge that this was bad for you and you you heal and, and cleanse and move on from this and realize what you deserve, the sooner this person that just knows right off the bat that you're their person can come in, this true love potential life partner. Because this person you thought was the one from the past was actually a karmic is what I feel. But this new person actually is like, they're going to, you're going to know the difference because for one thing, they're going to appreciate you early on. They're not, you're not going to have to convince them. You're not going to have to like treat it like a job interview. You're not going to have to um, argue or convince them of your worth. Like they're just going to see it. They're going to be like, wow, like I've been waiting for you my whole life. Like everything that this other person took for granted or didn't like about you, this person is going to love about you. Like you guys are just going to mesh well. It's just going to blend. Like you're just going to it's, it's just your person. You're just going to have that knowledge and they're going to have that knowledge and it's going to be different because you're not going to have to 
text first all the time or wait for them and not know what they're feeling or who they're with or what they're thinking. It's like you're going to know. They're going to let you know because you're going to be too important to them for them to be willing to leave you in the dark. They're not going to leave you in the dark. They're going to want you to know. They're going to want you to trust them. They're going to want to build that trust and build that foundation with you. They're going to want to travel with you. They're going to want to spend their time and even money and, and energy on you. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And you're going to see why it didn't work out with other people. This is true love, potential life partner. I don't know if you guys have met this person yet. I mean, I'm wondering if you have because I did get that. I mean, it was like, what, like a month and a half, two months ago, I was getting that you were telepathically connecting with someone, but I don't know if you guys had met the person yet or not. Um, I never know where, I mean, this is the story, but I don't know, like, some of you guys are past this energy, probably. Some of you guys have already met this person. Others are probably catching up. So maybe I'm telling the story. So for those of that are catching up, I don't, I don't know where all you guys are at. I'm guessing you're at different stages of this story, but, um, but yeah, that's the energy that I get. And if you'd like a private reading, my email is below in the description box. And um, yeah, it's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Thank you guys for watching. Please, uh, any, any donations are appreciated too. They're, my donation link is right below. And please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks.